Premier Mighton. Now, I, I made a little bit of money on these, not too much. There was a big seller in there, and this was a recovery play um, because the markets were. This is a sort of you know asset manager, and of course, with the aim market recovery, this rallied on good sentiment here. Thinking, okay, money inflow is going to happen. Uh, the market's going to rally. Premier Mighton, what is it? It's uh, 105, ranked 105. Uh, and it's it's gone up a few. It might have dropped a little bit and then come back up. But it's, it's um, 105 last week. No, 108 last week it was, up to 105. So they are um, a fund management company. Of course, these are good companies, good plays, these generally, for the market. Because, you know, how confident are you the market will recover? If it does, these companies, asset managers are going to benefit. You know, more trading volume, more people are investing. So it's a good play. And the fact is, let's have a look at the tail of the tape here. Uh, I did have a stop loss on, on the on the results there. I mean, as yet, we've got a technical bounce or a rally on sentiment. There's no fundamental recovery going on yet. But they are starting to say, you know, outflows after 34 months of money outflow from the market, they're starting to see that stop on the sun coming in. They've got a 12% upside, um, uh, you know, brokers in this. Market cap 115, enterprise value 78, so still in the micro cap league because let's let, they've got a nice big chunk of that's what I can see. They still got a decent chunk of cash, you know. Net asset per share 78, so it's above that the actual share price. Um, average daily volume is decent, quarter million, revenue 74 million, uh, operating profit still making cash, so they're still making cash, um, and they've got cash of 37 million. This, to me, is a safe play. I don't know why. I, I may have moved my stop loss a bit. I was in profit here. I may have just kept it in a risk-free investment. I did move up to 10% profit, my stop loss. It dropped 20% on results. Per, no, not on results, but the days come up the results and took me out. That's fine. I may want to revisit, uh, but it may rally away before that happens. Uh, no debt. I like to see that. There's a lot of green there. Uh, the only problem is the upside here, but, of course, that will change, you know, as money inflow happens, I think they'll be upgraded. Uh, so it's all good. Free cash flow yeah, of seven million. Uh, like I said, what we got here is is no growth. Of course, the market's been suffering. Uh, so we've got all. Let's look at the top of scores. Look at that. Everything else here, pretty much value momentum is okay, apart from growth. Now this is like I said, talk about recovery plays. It's got two of the others here already. So all it's waiting for, I think, you know, it's got momentum. In you know, looking forward to growth coming back, health's good, vision's good. Brokers don't give it a big upside yet, but I said that can be upgraded. So, and I, I said, no, eight percent dividend. So, you know, if you don't go too big and you're not worried about volatility, you're picking up a nice eight percent dividend as you're waiting. And I think I was a bit too keen on my stop loss there, even though I, you know, checked out at a small profit. Maybe I, I should have you know held it down a bit, uh, but anyway. I'll revisit it, maybe. Uh, so it's all good on the screen. Um, gross margin, 89. Operating margin, 7.6. Uh, I hope that will improve. Momentum's all there. Like I said, don't worry, broker targets can change. What's fact is figures, okay? Um, and in fact, real time sort of money supply is is, is the momentum. Uh, value is fact as well. Uh, but let's look. So we're, we're showing, you know, almost like uh, growth in 2025, up to 80 million. Uh, you've got good sort of gross margins there. And decent, you know, net margins of 14, 15%. So then the value is very good here. So what I, yeah, I see 50 odd percent upside here on these, on, on, a, on a 1 by 5 sales, 10 EBITDA, 15 post tax. I see upside. I see dividends still generating cash. It's very good in this market. And, um, Maybe I'm swaying the pitch or querying the pitch or steering your guidance here. But I'm saying it's, you know, you, you, you have, your, have your say. Have your say. Let's look at the chart here uh, because, uh, like I said, it did come back a bit. And for some reason, before results, I said, last time I bought it was here. I think it just dipped down there, took me out, um, I think. Uh, what's, what's, what's interesting now is will we see a series of higher lows you know, or done there, or we see it breaking that sort of, uh, you know, uh, uh, lower highs. I mean, or we see it breaking that, or just going sideways. But I keep on watching it because, uh, you know, it, it could it could have a long way to go. 
you know, that was the sort of top of the market up here, two quid. And it's now what it's seventy four five pence. I think it'll be a good bull market next three or five years. That 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 you know get back to those heat highs easily. But um, it's just they're saying they haven't yet. Yes, yeah, so revenue from ninety to seventy four. From uh, operating profit fourteen point nine to five point six, but nevertheless, it's going to be one of the toughest, one of the toughest bear markets ever, and they're still generating cash, which is nice to see, you know, in some shape or form. Uh, obviously, they pay a lot of uh, dividends, so that the, the net cash has gone down. In fact, what what was it at? Uh, yeah, it's at forty five point seven. It's going to stay seven, but they got plenty of years of that runway uh, of paying out dividends. So anyway, um, ladies and gentlemen of the Watchers jury, what's your thoughts on Premier Might and PMI? Harris bought a 65 pence a few weeks ago. Confident dividend will be maintained, which is generous at the moment. So it's definitely yes for me. It's a yes from Harris. PMI, yes, possibly great divvy. That's Ed. PMI, yes, surely will start to benefit from money inflows. Yes, absolutely. Well, that's why it's rallied, I think. You know, I mean, the sentiment already. And that's the market. You know, markets look forward. You know, so they, as, as much as they can price in ahead of them, they can. And they're obviously very confident. We've had the AIM market now enter a bull market. There's more money inflows. People put money into the market when the share prices are rising. Uh, and so, it'll, yeah, I, I do believe that. Anything, Jim says, um, anything under 70 is a great buy, a lovely dividend, and a well-run company. Yeah, uh, I do think I was, but it, it, my maybe stock was too keen there. But that was, uh, there must have been a big seller there on that dip. It dipped a lot. I know. I like this, uh, David's iPhone. Hey, David's iPhone. Uh, can you um, tell me where David is? Does he know you're using his phone? Uh, I like this. <laughs> I've invested. Uh, I expect a decent upgrade soon. Interest rate falls will get people back investing in the stock market. In fact, we do read their results. They do say the interest rates have a lot to do with it. Of course they do. Because when, you, when you're not getting, you know, 4 or 5 cent on your savings that starts trickling down to you know two three two percent where where else to put your money you know tim m yep brian pmi also stopped out may watch yeah uh mick s love them i hold them i love them yeah tim uh, looks good 